It's been a long wait. The trailer for Frozen Empire finally came out yesterday. There's all sorts of controversy on actors and characters. Maybe it's too scary of a storyline. Who knows? If you recall the trailer from Afterlife, it was kind of out there. There was not a lot of indications of the storyline or the characters that would come in, like the old crew. Who knows what ultimately is going to happen? One of the things that got me excited, the modifications and updates to the costumes and the props. There's a red winter jacket. There's some sort of turtleneck or baklava that's being used. There's a new gizmo and updates to the proton pack. You might not have seen all of those things, so I'm going to step you through the video and point out what I saw in what are going to be future costume and cosplay and prop builds coming soon. If you're interested in this version, I'll post a link up there where I go through 12 different videos of how you can make your own costume. But we're going to add to it with this new movie coming out. So let's go to a top-down shot and get into the trailer. This is the approach I'm going to use on this video. I'm going to pause and point things out. I'm hoping nobody's going to give me a copyright strike on this. As far as I'm concerned, I'm promoting their video by highlighting certain areas, but we'll see. I'll post below a link to the trailer in case you haven't seen it already or want to step through it like I am here. This is at 105 in the trailer. And you can see that the Ecto has been cleaned up. You might also notice that in a lot of the shots in New York City, it's kind of a white sky. This was during the Canadian fires in the May, June time frame. And they, maybe they justify it somehow in the movie, but it's because of the fires. This is at 120 in the trailer. And you can see that there's an upgrade or some sort of modification to the proton pack where you've got black and yellow lines. Not sure what that is. Maybe we'll find out later in another trailer or certainly in the movie. This is at 122 in the trailer. You can see that piece that I was talking about before. Bumper or the back of the proton pack. There's a yellow addition here. It doesn't look like they're wearing a proton pack over here, but they have the wand. Here's a detail of the red ski jacket, I'm calling it. So there's a black pocket or some sort of black strap that runs across here and here. You can see the faint outline of a name tag. You can see some hooks. There's a D ring and just a standard hook, kind of what they have on the belt in the earlier versions of the costume. A red collar both on the inside and the outside. Some interesting things. It looks like it might be a black turtleneck that we're seeing here. Also some sort of red glove that she's wearing. Hard to tell. Nothing new here it seems, at least so far. And this is at 140. This is 141 in the trailer and no modifications here. I just thought this grimacing face that he's got, he's either really terrified or he's focused on taking care of business. That almost looks like a Joker face. Really kind of strange. At 151 in the trailer, you see what looks like the big baddie, the nemesis that are going to battle against. My son seems to think he knows exactly what it is, whether it's in the spirit guide or the video games. <laughs> Here's the last big scene on the trailer. It's at 155. Some interesting things going on here. First of all, she's looking at him kind of with that, are you crazy? He's looking in this really happy look. He's going to take on the big bad ghost and he's been waiting the whole movie to do so. You can see that they each have what looks like a new gizmo on their belt here. They're wearing the proton packs over the coats, which makes sense. And there's a good view of the no ghost patch. Based on the lighting, it kind of looks like it's black, but I think it's going to match or be slightly closer to the color of the coat. And this is just a great way to close it out. If you've been to New York City, say in the May time frame, the No Ghost sign was up here. Now I think it's moved over here. But maybe we should get a petition going and see if the fire station can put it back out here where it really deserves to be and looks like the movie. I'm excited about this movie. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. If you looked at the initial trailers from Afterlife, you know, there was all sorts of mixed thoughts and ideas there. They did a great job on Afterlife. I'm anticipating Frozen Empire will be just as good. What do you think about the trailer and the upgrades to the costume and props? Post your thoughts and ideas below. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, 
and designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, home repairs, costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe, because you never know what upgrades you're going to see.